somebody on here? Oh my God. I wanted to get fucked tonight. Now, look at me, I look slimy. I look like a bag of rising pizza dough poured into a corset. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I know some of you out there, some of you young guys have a Susan Sarandon fetish. I get it, it's cool. So there comes a point in every drag queen show when she is contractually obligated to interact with her audience. Now this can go a lot of ways depending on how much you guys have had to drink tonight. So I decided the best way to put some parameters around it is to play a game with you guys. So we are going to play Truth or Dare live on stage tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. But I do have some rules. Rule number one, I don't do the dares. I'm not dressed for it, okay? I will let you ask the truth and then I will dare you to do something. And upon completing your dare, I will give you one shot of well vodka. Congratulations, that's all I felt like spending on you assholes. <laughs> and, um, rule number two is I don't accept volunteers. The more enthusiastic you are, the less I want to talk to you. Okay. Because you bring up an enthusiastic person, they try to steal the show, it's like halfway through, like I'm gonna, oh yeah, you're you here, yeah. I'm like, no, I don't do it, okay? Rule number three, I only invite gentlemen on stage, okay? And I know what you're thinking, and it is not what you think. I am not sexist, okay? I just hate women. No, honestly, I just think women have been exploited too much for entertainment. It's time to exploit some men. Don't you think that'll be fun? All right, so first and foremost, I'm gonna take mustache here. Yes, hello, mustache. Hello, hi, good day, how are you? How are you going? Yeah. Okay, go back there. Um, let's take this scruffy little number back here. Yeah, come here. Okay, we need, we have two, we have two charming men. I think we need a little bit of contrast. I need like the classic twin. I need like the twinkiest twin out there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, you got slapped. You got slapped. Oh yes, the 18 year old. It's legal here, right? It's legal, right? Oh my goodness. Here, you stand in the middle. Oh my God, you look six. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit, no, I can't let you be in the middle. Um, I can't let you be at the end either. This is, honey, just watch. Just sit down and watch, okay, and touch yourself. I don't, I can't, I can't in good conscience have that boy come up here. Uh, how old are you, darling? 16? Are you even supposed to be in here right now? Oh my God, I'm gonna get sued. I just, I can feel it. Yes, you, darling, yes, yes. Captain Jack Sparrow, come here. Come here, okay. All right, yes, oh my goodness, I didn't know gypsies lived in Perth. Okay, now ladies and gentlemen, these are three men, they all have names, but I don't give a fuck what their names are. I just want to get them unclothed and drunk, okay? So you ready, are you ready? It's gonna be so much fun, anything can happen. Okay, Shawnee, bring out the first truth and, and a towel for mommy, please. Oh yes, oh my God, I'm so Oh my god, I'm packed tighter in this course than a blood sausage right now. Okay, darling. Here you go. Yes, puke a little and then, then we can move on now. Ask me the first truth of the night. <laughs> oh, hold on, yes, yes. Let, let mommy dab her fucking sweaty brow. Okay. <sighs> Ask me the first truth of the night. I'm so excited. This is going to be great. Talk? Oh, awesome. How dare you ask me that? How dare you ask me that filthy question when I'm trying to put on a classy show? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you, like so many effeminate young men in my youth, I thought I was strictly a bottom, you know? I thought because I was skinny at the time and I was so youthful and effeminate that I was just naturally pegged as a power bottom. And do you know what that is? That's heteronormativity affecting our fucking community and we don't fucking need it. Yeah. Heterosexuals don't even need that, okay? It doesn't matter who you are, what shape or size you are, no one gets to tell you you have to take it up the butt, okay? I learned this about myself in my early 20s when I went through what I call my top renaissance. 
a year when it was just raining asses on me. It was just like a monsoon of sphincters. It was great. All right, are you ready for the first dare of the evening? I bet you all are. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna pull it out of my tit. It's gonna be totally random. Oh, how soy random. <laughs> Give Jinx your undies. Oh, this is a fun one. Now, Shawnee's gonna take you backstage and you're gonna take your underwear off and then you'll come out and give them to me. It'll be fun. It'll be fun for everyone. Go on, darling. Okay. Yes, but Shawnee, I need a second truth, please. Shawnee? Oh, God, Shawnee. He's, uh, I adopted him last week. I'm still training him. It's cute. Okay, darling, here is your truth to ask, man. Please, refrain from asking me any filthy, perverted questions, okay? What's your kinkiest kink? You know, it's not always easy for me to find a date. You know, not a lot of guys are looking for a 28-year-old man who looks like a 45-year-old woman, you know? But occasionally, mother does get laid, okay? And the, I'm not as young as I used to be, okay? And I'll tell you, the older you get, the more butter it takes to get you back in the frying pan, if you know what I mean. So I've acquired some certain tastes. I don't mind telling you that I uh, like armpits, especially if you're not wearing deodorant, because it reminds me of Seattle. And, uh, something about that smell of a genderless barista just takes me home, you know? Um, I also like men with big feet. I know, I know some guys are grossed out by that, but really my kinkiest kink, if you must know, you filthy fucking cock pig! Um, my kinkiest kink is that one day I want to dress up like Little Red Riding Hood and get fucked by a guy in a werewolf costume. It combines my secret passion for cosplay and furries all together. Can't you just imagine me walking through the forest and I'm like, ah, da, 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 da. oops, I dropped my basket. Oh, ah, ha, 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 wow! Oh, it would be so hot. You're sick! All right, are you ready for your dare, darling? Oh, it could be anything. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Here we go. Yours says, let Jinx kiss you your shot. Oh, this is an exciting one. Here, darling, here. Um, oh my God, Shawnee, where the fuck did you put the shots? Oh, there they are, okay, thank you. Shawnee's not in trouble, everyone, it's okay. Get down on your knees, darling. Well, yeah, yeah, look, look, yeah, that, ah, stay, no, it's not sideways, profile, profile! Lean your head back, drum roll, please. Oh my god, but don't worry, darling. A drag queen's mouth is actually cleaner than a human's. Okay, get out of here, get out of here. Poor guy, he didn't even get any vodka just now. I, my gums actually filter out the alcohol content. All he got was potato water just now. Just for that one. Let's bring in our first guest, who is now going to give me his underwear. Yes! Oh, these are hot. Wow, I... I pegged you for a box of brief guy here. Have a shot, darling, on us. Thank you so much for degrading yourself for entertainment value. Thank you, darling. Opa! Salud and mazel and all that shit. It's fun. All right, go up back into the audience. I never want to see you again. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, it's so fucking hot. You're right. Oh, this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Here we go, darling. Um, last truth. Oh my gosh, it could be anything as long as it's this. Okay, here we go, darling. Ask the last question. I'm so excited. It could be anything. Oh my god. What's the weirdest sexual thing you've been asked to do? To do? <laughs> to do? The weirdest sexual thing that I've been asked to do? Um, here's the thing. Like I said, it's not always easy 
for a guy who's going through menopause to find the right date, okay? I'm having a hot flash right now. But ladies and gentlemen, I, see, I realize that there are many guys out there who are into this, you know, and they're all on Craigslist. <laughs> so uh, one day I worked up the courage, I, I, I took out a Craigslist personal ad, and um, later I had a rendezvous with a handsome young gentleman who skateboarded to my house, as was a prerequisite. And um, I met him at the door looking like a ginger stifler's mom and I took him into my bathroom and I drew him a bath and then I bathed him. Every inch of him, yes. And there's no punchline there. That's just something I do. That's just something I do. <laughs> <laughs> call me, call me if you're single and circumcised, you know. I, I mean, I, I know there, that's a long shot here in Australia. It's just that I am a Jewish woman, you know. I only sleep with circumcised men. And it's not because I'm prejudiced against uncircumcised men. Don't put that in my mouth! It's just that as a Jewish woman, I won't touch anything that's not at least 40% off. Now that you know what you're up against, it's going to be so much fun. I'm so excited. Oh, what's it going to be? I have no idea what it is. It says, Moon the Audience. Oh, this is so fun. Okay. Okay, darling, I'll hold your shot down here. I just want to get a good seat. Okay? We're going to give you all the encouragement in the world. Let's give you the encouragement, darling. Oh, I hope it's Harry. Oh, I hope it's Harry. Look. You have sunburn? Oh, even better! This is like a real Australian ass! Oh, this is exciting. Yes! Yes! Oh, look at that sunburn! Oh, my poor God! There, I hope that makes it feel better. Here you go, darling. You burned that. You burned it. Yes, there you go. Now get the fuck off my stage. Thank you. Oh, wow. Wonderful, you guys. I'm so glad we did that. Okay. Now, um, I have a song. I don't know if you guys know this, but a while back, I wrote an album, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a niche market that I um, I appeal to. You know, people who like drag queens who sing about their um, non-existent vaginas, like non-stop. But you know, it's available on iTunes. Okay, and I'm gonna sing one of the. One of the songs from my album, and I... Shit! Oh! Oh, it's so fucking hot here! Oh my god! And I wanted to get fucked tonight, and now... Look at me, I look slimy! I look like a bag of rising pizza dough poured into a corset! Oh, it's okay, it's okay, I know some of you out there... Some of you young guys have a... Susan Sarandon fetish, I get it, it's cool. <laughs> in every drag queen show when she is contractually obligated to interact with her audience. <laughs> now this can go a lot of ways depending on how much you guys have had to drink tonight. So I decided the best way to put some parameters around it is to play a game with you guys. So we are going to play Truth or Dare live on stage tonight. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. But I do have some rules. Rule number one, I don't do the dares. I'm not dressed for it, okay? I will let you ask a truth, and then I will dare you to do something, and upon completing your dare, I will give you one shot of well vodka. Congratulations, that's all I felt like spending on you assholes. Damn. Rule number two is I don't accept volunteers. The more enthusiastic you are, the less I want to talk to you. Okay. Because you bring up an enthusiastic person, they try to steal the show, it's like halfway through, like I'm gonna, oh yeah, you're, 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 you're. No, I don't do it, okay? Rule number three, I only invite gentlemen on stage, okay? And I know what you're thinking, and it is not what you think. I am not sexist, okay? I just hate women. 
No, honestly, I just think women have been exploited too much for entertainment. It's time to exploit some men. Don't you think that'll be fun? All right, so first and foremost, I'm gonna take mustache here. Yes, hello, mustache. Hello, hi, good day, how are you? How are you going? Yeah. Okay, go back there. Um, let's take this scruffy little number back here. Yeah, come here. Okay, we need, we have two, we have two charming men. I think we need a little bit of contrast. I need like the classic twin. I need like the twinkiest twin out there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, you got slapped. You got slapped. Oh yes, the 18 year old. It's legal here, right? It's legal, right? Oh my goodness. Here, you stand in the middle. Oh my God, you look six. Okay. Oh shit. No, I can't let you be in the middle. Um, I can't let you be at the end either. This is, honey, just watch. Just sit down and watch, okay? And touch yourself. I don't. I can't. I can't in good conscience have that boy come up here. Uh, how old are you, darling? Sixteen? Are you even supposed to be in here right now? Oh my God, I'm gonna get sued. I just. I can feel it. Yes, you, darling. Yes, yes. Captain Jack Sparrow, come here. Come here. Okay. All right, yes, oh my goodness, I didn't know Gypsy slipped in Perth. Okay, now ladies and gentlemen, these are three men, they all have names, but I don't give a fuck what their names are. I just want to get them unclothed and drunk, okay? So you ready, are you ready? You are having so much fun, anything could happen. Okay, Shawnee, bring out the first truth and, and a towel for mommy, please. Oh yes, oh my God, I'm, oh my God, I'm packed tighter in this corset than a blood sausage right now. Okay, darling, here you go. Yes, puke a little and then, then we can move on. Now, ask me the first truth of the night. <laughs> oh, hold on, yes, yes. Let